Okay, here I go. I'm going to try to do this again. Um, this is having to do with Patty Murray. She's the Washington State Senator in Washington, D.C. And she is campaigning for the Democratic Party. So I received this email today. I've been reading them out of kind of just sort of breezed them for the most part because they annoy me. And they annoy me because they're content free. And I'll show you. There's a battle going on right now for the Senate and for our values as a nation. Well, I guess that's kind of true. Um, while Democrats are fighting for jobs, broad-based economic growth, and a fair shot for every family, Senate Republicans have fought us at every turn, and they have plans to move us in the opposite direction if we win the Senate. What exactly are they doing? No details. Just generally they're doing this. This is because they're bad people. Okay. Sounds like a pretty polarized statement there. Democrats believe that women should earn equal pay for equal work. Okay. That anyone who works full-time should be able to earn enough to support their family and that students should be able to afford to pay back their college loans. Okay. Now, of course, you know there's more to that, but we'll leave it at that. Whatever. But Republicans have very different priorities. Okay, what are those priorities? Maybe their priorities are more important than your priorities. Because what you just said there doesn't really say anything. No one, you haven't said anything yet. Just that you have priorities. Okay, well, how are you going to achieve those priorities? Okay, everyone has priorities. Okay, here's the meat and potato of, of this. They have continued their assault on women's rights, and they have even filibustered my bill, the Not My Boss's Business Act, which would have overturned the disastrous Supreme Court Hobby Lobby decision. Well, the Hobby Lobby decision is a big problem, and it has more to do with the fact that businesses should have nothing to do with insurance in the first place. So we have a big problem and you're trying to patch it with a band-aid to say, oh, we will just remove the rights of the businesses to make decisions. Okay, If we remove the business from having insurance to begin with, they can't offer insurance. Just remove that and say you can't offer insurance would actually solve the problem and do the right thing at the same time. So I don't agree with that. Not my boss's business. Even though I agree in principle it isn't the boss's business, but you make it the business of the bosses when you allow them to provide insurance for their employees. They shouldn't be doing that. It doesn't make sense. It traps employees into a specific business. There's so many things wrong with allowing a business to give insurance to employees in the first place that this doesn't do nothing to fix the underlying problem of the reason you're mad about the Supreme Court decision because they did, simply didn't want to run roughshod over the law. You want people to have, to reinterpret the law because it's expedient, because it's the right thing to do? Well, we have to establish the rules. And if we're going to establish those rules the way they are, the Supreme Court's job isn't to create their own rules, it's to go by the rules that have already been established. That is actually their job, even though I have a lot of problems with our legal system in general. I'm not going to ask the Supreme Court to do something that they're not supposed to do. So they're doing basically what they should do. Anyways, they continue to fight to protect every single wasteful tax loophole used by the wealthiest Americans and the biggest corporation, which is costing taxpayers billions of dollars that could be invested in education, research, and infrastructure. Okay. But again, you say one thing, but you give no examples in terms of the specifics of the loopholes that you're talking about. Which are the ones you're actually putting up on the table? Why are you putting up on, on the table? What kind of investment in education? Is anything to say that you actually know what you're talking about? This is just hyperbole, hyperbole, hyperbole. And this is why. So this is about politics. I agree. It's about doing the right thing. No, it's about what's about doing what's right. All emotional, all invested, 
ballots are out for 2014 elections. Can you donate five dollars and help the Washington State Democratic Party elect Democrats on November 4th? No, because they're all stupid if they're sending this crap out. And that's what I'm angry about. They're sending advertising crap because they say they assume that I'm a loyal supporter. Well, I have voted Democrat in the past. I generally agree more with the Democrats, but when they send out crap, they send out mindless, total drivel like this. I have no faith in anyone. Anyone that subscribes to any party, whether they have a D or an R after their name, that's my problem. Think, people. Explain your positions. Expect more from your constituency than simply idiocy, idiocy, whatever it is. But you expect nothing from people. You expect no thinking. And that infuriates me. You're insulting my intelligence when you send this crap out. I know that it means to have the support of Washington State Democratic Party. Okay, so she goes on and explains how great the Democrats are. Because this is a campaign. She's promoting the Democratic Party, how great the Democratic Party is. So this is a hex on two houses. It's hex on her for supporting it, and it's hex on the Democratic Party for allowing her to do it. Because they requested this of her. So, you lost my vote. I'll vote for an independent person simply because they're independent and they don't have a D or an R after their name. And I think we should all start to do that. Send the message that we're tired of political pandering. We're tired of brain dead messages from our political parties. They simply aren't really engaged in real intelligent debate. They expect nothing from their constituency in terms of intelligence. And they expect money for this? Like hell! Vote against Patty Murray.